Hi everyone and welcome to this second episode of the data-driven bar chart tracing after effects using expressions. Today we are going to talk about uh, limits and scope of expressions in after effects. Then we will dig into the project and see how we can limit the number of um, charts shown on the screen. For instance, if you have uh, 10, 15 countries in your CSV file, but you want to show only the first five on the screen, we are going to see how easy it is to achieve this. And at the end, we are going to see how we can use the ease and linear interpolation to modify the opacity and scale properties on the project. Let me remind you that you can download the After Effects project from my website. The link is in the description below. So you can download it right now and you can follow along with me in this episode. See you in two seconds. I also remember you that you can subscribe to my channel. It's totally for free as uh, same with the projects I share with you. So now let's get into the project. There are a few changes I've, I've done uh, since the last week, which uh, just took me to um, the idea that I wanted to share with you my thoughts about uh, the expressions on this uh, project. We are using quite heavily uh, expressions and it can be a little bit problematic when we uh, increase the number of columns. But that's the problem with expressions because um, unlike uh, scripting, uh, expressions cannot set uh, properties outside of the properties where, where they live uh, in. So for instance, if we go and uh, take one uh, of the many expressions we have done, for instance, uh, this one. See that, oops, you see that it can be uh, quite complex, but the, the result uh, that we are getting, we can do many calculations, we can do the four, uh, four loops uh, and getting many values, but we can only, I mean, the only output we can have uh, <coughs> is the one foreseen by the property we have. For instance, in this case, we have uh, the property is a point property. That means that we have uh, an array of uh, two values, uh, two numeric values at, as uh, as uh, output. So those are the only two values that we can uh, put uh, outside of uh, of, uh, of this world. Um, for instance, you cannot, uh, if you have another property, uh, for example, the opacity, you cannot set the uh, value of uh, this property from inside uh, the other property. Um, that's uh, that's the big limit of uh, of expressions. They just live in their own uh, world and they cannot uh, interact uh, with uh, um, with. Ex they can still read external values, but they, you cannot set. Uh, you cannot use the set value. Uh, uh, function on other properties that that's yeah it's a little bit disturbing but that's how it is so let's see which are the changes i have done in this uh, version so in the if we go to the control uh, layer you're going to see that we still have the colors we still have the lines and the columns Lines are the data lines, so if for instance we have 27 lines in total, but 26 are the number of lines with our data, so here you have to write 26. Columns, uh, you have to write 7, uh, which is the exact number of columns, uh, I mean the total number of columns. From this uh, uh, week, uh, you can also uh, show a smaller number of columns if you have for instance seven columns in your in your um, CSV file you can just show the first uh, the first four and how you can do this uh, you just uh, set the number here in the in the visible columns uh, so already for instance set as four and I'm gonna show you how it works Another new variable is uh, this one, the top Y and top X. We are just setting the position of, uh, of, the, 
of the bar charts as you can see I'm moving around uh, the charts uh, and that's uh, gonna be easier to, to move it through the screen where you want to put it and you also have this uh, white line distance uh, which is just which is uh, which is just setting the space between each uh, each chart let's have a look how we managed to show just the first uh, uh, charts instead of all of them i had to modify i had to add a property called visibility in the in the control layer of each uh, bar let's have a look double e to show the expressions and as you can see here you have to do a little bit of calculations but it's pretty easy so uh, if we have a look at how it is changing I am giving a value of visibility and the value of visibility will be 150 if it's the first line so it's not that it's not directly linked to the opacity property because as you know opacity goes from 0 to to, to 100 but here my visibility property is 150 if it's the first line as, as you can see it's it's a uh, it's bigger because i'm using this visibility property to uh, pilot the opacity and also the scale of, of the of the description of each line so uh visibility property is 150 for the first line is 100 from the second to the last one which is visible so that is a third, second and third line in this case and it's going to be uh, going down from 100 to 0 when it goes from the last visible down to the first not visible um, and how do I calculate you see that it's not going from 100 to 0 immediately but it's going it's using a uh, an ease uh, uh, interpolation from going to 100 to 0 so this is what's happening here um, in this case uh, you see that uh, if uh, y current position y is more than the one uh, max max posi visible position i'm going to calculate uh, the uh, visibility with uh, an ease so when it goes from the maximum visible to the first one of visible it's going from 100 to 0 and same thing when it goes from the second to the first one this is the case i'm, I'm going to calculate with knees on the y which is the current position from um, second line to first line the visibility is going from 100 to 150 and as you can see it's working because uh, uh, for instance this is the line for control line for uh, the USA and as you can see um, let's have a look at the visibility uh, it's 100 so uh, USA is third so the visibility is 100 if we go on you see that now USA is going uh, to be the first one so you see the visibility here is going to 150 and then when it's going down it's you see visibility is going 128 till when he uh, it arrives to the second position and the visibility is 100 so that's uh, that's uh, how I uh, calculate uh, the the visibility and now how do we, we use this uh, visibility property for piloting the the um, opacity of the layers um, easy so let's go to the layer itself um, this is uh, instance the the chart the bar itself um, you see uh, the opacity is uh, is getting the value from the visibility layer and if uh, visibility is uh, more than 100 uh, you put 100 otherwise you put uh, uh, visibility uh, the one which is calculated and let's have a look at what happens uh, with the, the description the description is contained in the layer with the, the t uh, prefix double e to show the expressions 
So opacity is the same. Uh, and the other value, which is the other property, which is uh, um, getting the visibility property to to work is the scale. And scale, yeah, it's that is directly uh, getting the value from visibility and uh, using it as, as a scale value. So that is why I'm getting a scale of 150 when it's on the first line and then it's 100 when it's uh, one another visible line and it, it, it will go down to, to zero when uh, and the, the value is uh, disappearing, for instance. Here, uh, you see that uh, the scale is going down to, to zero when moving from from visible to not visible. So th that's it. It's pretty easy. We have using uh, quite extensively, in this case, the ease interpolation like here um, I don't think it's, it's um, difficult to, to understand uh, so uh, is, uh, is just getting the the value uh, the variable which is uh, considering uh, when this variable goes to uh, this value to this value the output value will go from 100 to 0 and this is what it's returning to, to op let me know if you have uh, more ideas on how to improve uh, this um, this project. There are, um, as I said, uh, the fact of showing uh, uh, just a limited number of uh, of, uh, of lines. Uh, is, uh, was a question from uh, from Satyam on the previous video. So really don't hesitate to, to ask questions. Uh, uh, I, I'm going to answer to all of them. I, I don't know if it's going to be useful, but I'll try to give the right answer. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you like this kind of uh, videos and uh, put a like on the video if you enjoyed watching it and see you next time.